Hello everyone, my name is Cherie, and I am recording this video in August of 2020. What a year! <laughs> For the past couple of months, I have been trying to figure out a way to show my support for the Black Lives Matter movement. And um, I decided I'm going to post a video recommending some movies. Now, there have been a lot of great uh, movies over the past decade with black protagonists. Um, the one that I've spoken about often on this channel is Beasts of the Southern Wild. Um, there was also Django Unchained, Hidden Figures, The Last Black Man in San Francisco, all, you know, either critically acclaimed or adored by audiences. The thing about those movies <laughs> is they were all made by white people. So, we need to support black creatives, black filmmakers, uh, the writers, directors, um, you know, not just having the black protagonist. So, I have got a list of three of my favorite films, and these are all from DVDs that are in my collection. I only buy DVDs if I really love a movie and I know I'm going to watch it multiple times. Um, and uh, these are all written and directed by black filmmakers, and they all um, are about the black experience in America in modern times. All right, so the first movie I'm going to recommend. Uh, this came out when I had just started film school, and one of my classmates said, oh, there's this new movie, it's getting all this buzz, we gotta go see it. So we went and saw it, and I came out just floored. I had never seen anything that intense and passionate and, and kinetic and, and just inspiring, and I wanted <laughs> to write something as good as that. Uh, that movie was Do the Right Thing by Spike Lee. And Spike Lee not only wrote and directed it, he also produced it and acted as one of the main characters. Um, this is a film from 1999, and it has been deemed historically, culturally, and aesthetically significant by the Library of Congress. Um, so it, is, it has been placed in the National Film Registry. This is my Criterion Collection copy, so Criterion does really good uh, versions of things. Um, the story is, takes place in Brooklyn on a very hot day, and um, it's a, a street in Brooklyn that mostly black people live in, but there is an Italian pizzeria and a Korean grocer's, and it's about the racial conflicts that arise. So, great movie, do the right thing. Do the right thing and see it if you haven't. <laughs> the next movie, um, came out while I was living in Hollywood in 2017. And I lived in Hollywood proper, and I would turn uh, from Sycamore Avenue r right onto Hollywood Boulevard, where the Walk of Fame started, uh, turn left on La Brea and walk down to my job in West Hollywood. And it was about a mile. And so one day I was walking and all these billboards had popped up. And it was like a nice suburban neighborhood. And it said, You know, I work in this neighborhood. Is that okay? <laughs> I didn't realize it was a film advertisement, but it was it was really effective because it's like, what? What is this? So, Jordan Peele's Get Out. Um, this actually did win uh, a Best Original Screenplay Oscar. It did not win Best Picture that year. Uh, the winner was, I believe it was The Shape of Water. Um, but for my money, this is the one that's going to, you know, stand the test of time and be you know, historically significant. Um, and this concerns a black man who uh, goes to his white girlfriend's parents' house in the countryside and all the weirdness that ensues from there. This is a horror story, and it was, uh, it was inspired by movies like Rosemary's Baby and um, Stepford Wives, and, and you really get those creepy vibes from it. The last one I'm going to recommend, uh, my friend at work actually, uh, 
asked if I'd seen it. I heard about it, but I hadn't seen it. And he's like, oh, I think you should see it. So <laughs> it, was, it blew me away. It's, it's an absurdist dark comedy. And it's called Sorry to Bother You about a black man who goes to work for this uh, telemarketing company and gets promoted. And I don't want to tell you anything else about it. it it's bizarre. It's funny. It's fun. It, it, it's, it's great. And this was from uh, 2018. So that's my trilogy. And then I want to give you a couple of trigger warnings as well. Um, do the right thing. Oh, by the way, uh, Spike Lee was nominated for Best Original Screenplay for this also. What did he lose to? Uh, he, he, he lost to this one. I'll, I'll put it there. Um, but anyway, there's a part at the end, you know, one of the, the major turning points that, that could be a real trigger. This is just as relevant today as it was 31 years ago when it came out. Um, and it's, it's kind of sad. That I have to say that, um, but yeah, there's a, an act of violence that's that's horrific. Um, and then, get out. I had lent this to one of my black friends. I have more than one black friend actually, and uh, he had never seen it, and he couldn't get past the first scene. He had to turn it off because it was too realistic. Um, so it, it was a, a trigger for him basically. So, yeah, I just want to let you know, I can't remember if there's anything, and sorry to bother you, that's, I just rewatched these all last week, um, but I, you know, except for maybe the, uh, the N-word thing, like, <laughs> there's this song, that's all I'm gonna say, um, those are my recommendations. Uh, do yourself a favor and watch those if you haven't seen them. They are all excellent, all made by black filmmakers, all about the black experience in America. Um, so thank you for joining me. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you in the next video.